together god grants you grace to pray pray now is the time buy the books settle down you wake up in the morning don't just say oh i'm going to the nations i'm going to become a ceo build capacity learn the scriptures now no weapon fashion against me will prosper don't wait till the day they attack you have your arsenals ready first you don't prepare for battle in the day of battle no the strongest Good day to the one fearfully and wonderfully created by God. I welcome you to Postpit Media. Postpit Media is a channel that shares Nigerian and international men of God's sermons. Dear listener, is this your first time of joining this channel? If it is, kindly subscribe and turn on the notification button. There is a prepared place for prepared people. In this video, you're about to watch Apostle Sassaman talk on preparation and season. You know, Apostle Aseman has been laying emphasis on this. You know, whenever you see a great man, they want other people to be great. You might have listened to this message before, or you might have heard it from Apostle Aseman in a clip. But one thing I noticed about Apostle Aseman is that he wants everyone to be lifted just as he is. You know, as a great man, there is something you can joke with season and time. Apostle Asema in this video made it known that men ought to prepare for season. You should prepare or you are not preparing. The season will surely come to pass. But do not allow the season to meet you unprepared. Apostle Asema talked on capacity building. You have to build capacity. If you have noticed the fear of influence the Lord has called you to, but you have the vision already, start the preparation. Start immediately. Because there is a place that is prepared for prepared people. Kindly watch the video till end, share to others, and also comment in the comment section. Are we together? God grants you grace to pray, pray. Now is the time. Buy the books, settle down. You wake up in the morning. Don't just say, Oh, I'm going to the nations. I'm going to become a CEO. Build capacity. Learn the scriptures now. No weapon fashion against me will prosper. Don't wait till the day they attack you. Have your arsenals ready first. You don't prepare for battle in the day of battle. No. The strongest security systems in the world, military arsenals they have their weapons even in the moment of peace because they know anything can happen are we together now somebody say build capacity prophesy to yourself say build capacity hallelujah yes sir wake up in the night and pray you will not die fast and pray you will not die study scriptures you will not die listen to teachings you will not die with all due respect parents can i encourage you challenge your children don't say they are too small if they have if they know the difference between good and evil don't let evil sweep them let them pray while you are praying let them pray let them fast challenge them they can fast and stop by 12 they will not die hallelujah This is how champions emerge. Nobody suddenly arrives. You're a young man and you know that God has told you the mantle of a savior is upon you. You cannot live your life carelessly and just want it. Seasons will change whether you are prepared or not. Mm. Hallelujah. Now that you have the opportunity to be connected to the king's court, you may not have the financial resources now to travel and meet all the speakers. They, they will not even listen to you. So God has given you the leverage of influence and they have brought them to you. Yet there are people who want to be spoon-fed by life and destiny. Unfortunately, is the reason why they do not rise. Tonight's teaching is supposed to shake you. This is my session. So my apologies. I will, I will apologize when we share the grace. But for now, let this drum into your spirit. For some of you, it's the spirit of God speaking through me while you think nobody can talk to you time is going unfortunately it does not respect you taking taking i was teaching a group of people in south africa and i told them every time you celebrate your birthday don't celebrate how old you are you are celebrating what is left 
if you are 30 years you are not 30 years you are x years minus 30 that's what you have left you can't do anything about the 30 years that has passed and only god knows what that x is so now that you celebrated 31 51 61 71 just be aware that you celebrated x years minus what you are rejoicing over now every birthday comes with a letter from your future i'm coming there are many angry people today angry at the victory of others not knowing that they wasted their opportunity because the same lord is rich unto all they see a beautiful car they insult the person they see god using people they say no we i mean so it's not about biases and prejudices now the beautiful thing about life is you may not do anything about yesterday but the time is the seasons are still oscillating while the earth remains you can make up your mind and say from this place now i will start walking conscious of seasons with that consciousness every time i see the day bright and beautiful i know that it's an opportunity to build capacity let me give you number two is god helping someone give everybody you love this message give them as a birthday gift wrap it on an mp3 and add it with the cake and say while i'm celebrating you would you mind having this transfer it and tell the person god taught me something about seasons while you are rejoicing there is another side to life you must build capacity build capacity when satan struck at jesus he said it is written he didn't learn that it is written on that day he learned it from age 12 for 18 years he was building capacity 18 years 18 years hallelujah i remember many years ago as a man of god we're preparing for miracle service one of my precious ladies i loved the lady so much and a leader in fact she traveled and went to um i think her her brother her brother's wife um gave birth and she quickly ran to just go and celebrate with them and return i was even counseling when they called me and they said look are you alone we need to talk to you i said what is it talk to me and they said um this lady just had an accident and of course they are still trying to play around with the family to do a soft landing but the truth is that she's dead she's gone you are preparing for a miracle service as a man of god and now that when that came, i said what happened i went for a retreat immediately i said lord it, what happened that my eyes did not see this did i sin against you have i backslidden what happened that under my watch this kind of thing will happen i remember going to pray and i cried i prayed i said god what is this why would this lady just go like that and then i learned that the strength i still had to go and preach and do everything i had to do how many preachers have had to preach and while they were on stage someone just sent a text your father just died your mother just died but because there was capacity they would not punish god's people because of their personal pain they would square up do you know the kind let me use a man of god as a bias do you know the kind of news that the average man of god hears you your mental health will go down if you don't have spiritual capacity the issues you will manage will create a bias that will cause you to hurt others because of the kinds of things you would have heard it you need strength capacity by the time they tell you 10 people have died and you are the ones in one day everybody is contacting you if you are not careful fear will come into you and you will not be able to do what you have to do again everybody say capacity number two what do you do with your seasons of grace your seven years of plenty build strategic relationships please write it down build strategic relationships my apologies i'm working with time but let me give you a very interesting scripture ecclesiastes chapter 4 9 to 12. ecclesiastes chapter 4. can i tell you please start this statement if you are writing in all you're getting if the only thing you have is money and you do not have relationships your life life will pierce you in a way that will make you feel you're a failure two are better than one 
because they have a good reward for their labor uh-huh for if they fall one will help up his fellow but woe to him that is alone if he has not fallen he will not know the tragedy of being alone but he says when he falleth for he had not another to help him up again if two lie together they have heat but how can one be warm alone and if one prevail against him two shall withstand him and a threefold cord is not easily broken so we have to prepare for what is ahead of us we have to prepare for seasons because if we prepare or we are not prepared this season will surely come to pass opportunities would come but let us be prepared for everything thank you for watching